5 Facts About the IAEA and Nuclear Weapons Development Behind every nuclear reactor and disarmament deal is the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA. It was created in 1957 following U.S. President Eisenhower's Adams for Peace speech to the UN. Headquartered in Vienna, Austria, it is not a regulatory body but a facilitator, promoting the safe, secure, and peaceful use of nuclear technologies. Under the United Nations system it reports independently. Working with its 175-plus member states to apply safeguards and ensure compliance with international norms. Its motto, Atoms for Peace and Development, summarizes its mission, harness nuclear energy without unleashing nuclear war. Led by a director general elected by the Board of Governors and approved by the General Conference, the board includes 35 member states with rotating seats. It works with international organizations, national governments, and the UN Security Council, especially when violations are detected. It keeps the agency flexible and politically neutral, while maintaining scientific rigor and diplomatic balance. Most of its activities stem from the Treaty on the Nonproliferation of Nuclear Weapons, NPT, signed in 1968 and enforced since 1970. Non-nuclear weapon states agree not to develop weapons, while nuclear states agree to pursue disarmament. It inspects facilities in Iran, Japan, South Korea, South Africa, and others. Notably, North Korea expelled IAEA inspectors in 2009, while Israel is not an NPT member, and thus remains outside the inspection framework. Safeguard agreements allow the agency to monitor fissile material and technology transfers to prevent military use. When a country violates NPT obligations, such as undeclared uranium enrichment, the IAEA can refer the case to the UN Security Council. Sanctions may follow, like those placed on Iran between 2006 and 2015, these include freezing assets, restricting exports, and isolating banking systems. The consequences are economic hardship and diplomatic pressure that incentivizes countries to return to negotiation tables. Despite its focus on security, the agency also facilitates medical isotopes for cancer treatment, improves crop yields with nuclear techniques, and supports energy development. It runs technical cooperation programs to ensure nuclear safety standards are applied globally, especially in developing nations. The agency is a nuclear watchdog and a global development partner. A guardian at the gates of peace, a tireless force trying to balance innovation and caution in the atomic age. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.